Hey guys, Fossil here, and welcome back to my best build series in NBA 2K21. Now today, we're actually making a center. You guys are probably thinking, but Foss, you told me that point guards and power forwards were the way for NBA 2K21. But I did mention, there is one exception to that rule. And this is the shooting center build, which is going to be at center and not power forward this time. I've gone through two pie charts for this build on both power forward and center. And this is definitely the best one, the one you want to make. This will be probably the most popular center build in NBA 2K21. So, this is the build here. At center, half defensive, half shooting. Now, there is one other option. And it's down the bottom, one of the new pie charts, which is more defensive and a little less shooting. You only get gold shooting badges on this one though. And a little bit of extra defensive doesn't even make a difference because I looked at it and it actually gets a lower defensive rebound than the one with more shooting, which does not make sense. So we're gonna go the half and half pie. And as per usual, you know me, I'm always about speed. I don't even look at the other pie charts anymore. I made the mistake at the start of NBA 2K20 and I was running around like a slug. The second I moved to this particular pie chart, it was revolutionary. It changed everything. I was quicker. I could get open for shots easier. I could roll quicker. It's just definitely the best pie chart. Strength doesn't do anything. You need speed. So I'm going to quickly lay it out for you guys. Then I'll explain. Maxing driving layup, driving dunk, and standing dunk. It's the three main categories in finishing. Yes, you only get the one badge, but we do have the main statistics. A lot of people think that badges the only important thing, but having the right stats is important. We don't need shot close, we don't need post hook. So while we put that in just for extra badges and we can utilize it in another category. So we're gonna max all the shooting. We get 19 shooting badges. Max the defense. And I believe this will be 22 shooting badges. There is one attribute missing off. No, that's finished, that's full. My bad. So this is what we're gonna go with. Max driving lap, max driving dunk, max standing dunk. And we maxed all the shooting and defense. Now, some people want pass accuracy for pro -Am. For this particular build, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna sacrifice six shooting badges just for pass accuracy because I know this is a great build in park. And like I said, I'm catering to park as well. So I'm going for the most all round version of this build. You don't need pass accuracy on the threes because it's a shorter court. On the twos, you definitely don't need it. So this is the build we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with built. So I'm quite big for setting screens. We're gonna go down the shortest height on here is six nine. So for once, instead of going six eight, we're gonna go six nine, which was the best height in NBA 2K20. So for the weight, we don't wanna go for max weight because we do lose a lot of speed. A lot of people like to go max weight to get that interior up. But look at the speed drop away. And look how big we are too. Um, for me personally, the default weight, we can manipulate just a few attributes around here. I'm just going to go 230. 230, that's what I went last year. 6'9", 230. This was one of my favorite builds. I used this build for like half the year before I moved on to playing lock. So we're going to go 230. Maximum arms, of course. 67 three ball. Once we get to 98, that's a 70. That's a great shot. That's a good shot. The speed is going to get to nearly 80. The acceleration is going to get to 80. This is going to be a decent build. Defense is pretty good. Um, this can play corner corner in Pro Am, a can guard picks if you need it to. It's a great build to set screens on if, if your point guard likes to play with a popper. Some point guards play different. Some like to play with paint beasts, some like to play with poppers. But I think this is going to be the most popular build when it comes to centers in NBA 2K21 because everyone likes to shoot. And one of the most important things in NBA that has been for years, forever, is spacing the floor. So this is the build we're going to go with. Now, two takeovers here. Now, like I said in a previous video, I'd take glass cleaning if you're primary uh, a part player and rim protector if you're gonna be playing in the Pro-Am. For this build, I'm gonna go glass cleaning. So this build now is just gonna be called a glass cleaner. Now, this brings back fond memories because the glass cleaner last year, the 6'9", exact same build, the same name and everything. Uh, I was one of the first people to actually bring out the 6'9 glass cleaner um, in our community. 
Um, and the reason why I did that was because anything under 6'9 has the faster jump shot and it just changed my shot. I went from missing a lot of shots with a 6'11 to a 6'9 and just changed my game. Once again, I'm gonna take you guys through the badges. Just the one shooting badge again, so we're gonna go with Slithery Finisher. So for our shooting badges, we've got 19 shooting badges available on this build. Bronze catch and shoot, that's all you need for a build that has a lower three point rating than about 80. Uh, Dead Eye, I've gone Hoff. You don't have to go Hoff, you can probably get away with a silver, but I've gone Hoff on this one. Um, for anyone who's closing out in the shot, it's gonna help you knock down those shots. Hot Zone Hunter, I've talked about that before, best shooting badge in the game. Range extender, we can shoot super deep. Green Machine helps us consecutively green shots. Slippery Off Ball just allows us to roll quicker as well. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to pop every time this build. You can finish inside, you've got one finishing badge, but you've got the stats. you still got a 70 driving dunk and a decent standing dunk. You can slip on this build. Now, I've also gone Gold Deep Fades. Now, this is more of a bailout. The Deep Fades is around like an 80. That's a very good bailout shot. So if you get in trouble, late shot clock, get into the post, quickly fade, it works wonders. Now, I played with Zurnik in my program team last season, and he had deep fades on his rebounding wing or glass cleaner, and we went to him a lot in the post in the dying stages of the shot clock when we had no other option. That works really well as a bailout shot. We have the one playmaking badge. Uh, I don't think we need break start if I'm playing on the threes, but I'm gonna go with bailout. That's always a good badge for any shooter. It's about to shoot the balls and get contested and can pass back out to one of his teammates without throwing the ball out of bounds. So we've got 22 defensive badges on this build. And this is what I'm running with. Box, bronze. You only need bronze because not many people run worm to get around the box. So bronze is good enough. Hoff brick wall, of course, we've seen those screens. Bronze chase down just to get those animations. Those chase and animations. Interceptor, you only need bronze. As long as you're in the lane, you're still going to get those steals. Lane steals have always been overpowered. Intimidator, of course, it can affect any player inside. Uh, they always, have you seen people missing open dunks, open layups, just because you're in the vicinity? That's Intimidator activating. I've got Clamp Silver because this will be guarding picks as well in park. So if I have to change onto the ball handler, I want to be able to stay in front of him a little bit. Hoff Rebound Chaser, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's one of the best badges. Hoff Pogo Stick, it's overpowered. I think it will be again this year, even though they say they have nerfed it. What I've seen so far this year from the, the demo, seeing Shaq jumping with Gold Pogo, it seems still crazy, so Hoff Pogo. Rim Protector, I'm only gonna go Silver. It relatively just helps you with your blocking. I think that's good enough. It's it's not gonna help contest or anything like that, so we're just gonna go with Silver. Now, depending on your role in the team, if you were to play Pro-Am and you're not sitting screens, you're just going picks, you take Brick Wall off, you put badges in different spots. But for the most all-round build, playing Park, playing the twos, playing the threes, setting and guarding picks, this is what I'm gonna run with on this glass cleaning build. Thanks again for watching this best build video. I think this will be the most popular center build in NBA 2K21. People love to shoot. It spaces the floor. I think this will be prevalent in the twos, the threes, and I think maybe not so much in prime. I think the paint beast will take over the prime scene, but it still is a great option if your point guard is one who likes to drive. It's good to have a popping center. Once again, thanks for watching. I do have one more best build video coming for you before the launch of NBA 2K21. So stay tuned for that. And make sure you leave a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time.